in adobe animate there is a default scripting language that name is action script 3 okay this is the scripting language we are using if every scripting language have its own style its own syntax to do before start, starting a work like this you need to study about the scripting language so we are doing some basics of scripting language and just we are doing stop and go to these are the two functions we are using in adobe animate now stop means it will stop there go to means it will go to a frame so that also i'm teaching you something only on timeline how to go to timeline frame number one frame number two frame number three this is only i'm explaining to you to do this one a simple exercise we are doing i have a picture here this picture i'm trying to import to adobe animate okay whenever we import we already know that it will be storing to library window l if you press in library it will be the so this is the picture the background i want to make make to black color so i went to properties i changed the stage color to black now this is my picture i'm considering this is a button so i made smaller this and this is my layer called button why i'm making in a separate separate layer later i need to animate this one if i don't need to animate this one i can keep it in the same layer we have studied when we were doing adobe and sorry some character animations any part if you want to animate separate we kept to separate layer same logic i am using here i have one image here this one if i want to convert a button first we press f8 then we choose button and we press okay now this is a button now in this button this is a button now right f8 i press it convert to a button how can i know this double click if i press it you can see it's a button now right pressing it two times one more time let me check it two times by mistake one more time this is my picture i made smaller and this one i want to convert a button we didn't go to any scripting now i'm converting to a button a fate button okay this is a button now in button if i want to do any effects and all i can double click go inside f6 f6 in down i want to make smaller so in down i press smaller so this is working like a button now this is very simple we have only one frame what i need on the second frame i want to do f6 so i'm taking a new layer for animations okay it's just giving an image so i do on f6 one more time here i take the original image here not button original image on the first frame we have only button second frame we have button and image button on the lower layer and image on the first layer now the question can i make it on the same layer only i don't need to make it a separate separate layer yes for time being if you keep on the same layer there is no problem later i want to do a transition which is entering that is the reason now itself i kept to separate layer otherwise if you keep on the same layer also no problem if you keep on the same layer whatever animation do it will happen your button it will happen to your button also that's the reason i have made it separate separate layer now what it is happening now when i press control enter you know first and second first and second it is playing right because we have two frames first frames we don't have image so it goes to second again come back again play loop right now what i am going to do on first frame i'm stopping this to stop this we have to give a script the question in which layer i will give uh, stop any layer you make if you have 100 layers you make on any layer which frame you are choosing that's important which layer is not an important at all for scripting so even you click create the scripting over here or you create the scripting over here no problem so select on that frame any frame but which is on the first right click and go to actions i repeat again any layer if you have a 10 layers any layer you can choose but frame number one 
on the frame number one, we need to stop it. It should not go to the second frame. So on the first frame, any layer, right click from here, actions. Then we get this window. This window, you will get used after pressing F9 also. But this one directly, I right click and do it because I want to do on that frame, stop is the command I'm doing. So you cannot make key P capital or S capital. You need to follow the same syntax. Starting bracket and closing bracket. A function is writing like this and semicolon to end that statement. Okay. Stop, we write. You see it is in a blue color. If I do a small mistake over here, the color change, that means there is a mistake. Now, if you come blue color, you can understand the functions what we have given. It is correct. It is done now. Now, when you press con you, here itself, you can see it is written A. That means there is some scripting is there on that cell or that frame. Now, when I press control enter, it stops that it's not going to the second frame. When I click something happened, nothing because I have not given anything. It works like a button because inside the button, I have did this actions and all. If I want to, uh, second frame is only one frame now, but I want to stay this one till 60. So I press F5. Still, if I press control enter, it will not go to second frame because the first frame itself, I have written a script called stop. Now, when I click on this button, it should go to frame number two. When it go to frame number two, there is no stop and all here. So it will continue to play till wherever it is. So till 60, we have frame visible. So it will play. Again, it will go back to first frame, then it stop. Again, when you click on here, it should go to second frame. Second frame, it will play till here. This is what we are going to do. So the first things I teach you how to stop, okay? On first frame, how to stop it. It is clear. The second things I'm gonna teach you, how to write a script, timeline, it should go to frame number two. To do that, the script I'm not writing on timeline. I'm not writing the script on timeline. I'm writing on this button. So I'm keeping on this, I'm selecting this button. Then F9, you have to press on the keyboard or go to window and use actions. Window and actions. Now you get a new window. Enter it below, second or third. I don't know what is the, uh, what is the syntax for the code. So Adobe Animate help you using code snippets. When you click on code snippets, you will get a new window for the code snippets inside we are writing now action script in this action script if you expand this window you can see a category called timeline navigation because this scripting is coming under this it is categorized like this here i'm using go click to go to frame and play when you double click on this one automatically this old syntax will automatically create over here when I click, it's asking that the selected symbol requires an instance name. That means I selected the button. You all have different, different name, right? We call different A, B, C, different, different name, right? John is a name, right? So that's identity of that person. Same like that. Each button should have a name. Then only we can call based on that name. In the scripting, if you want to identify something, you should have a name. <coughs> so we didn't give that one. So automatically, create an instance name before applying the codes. We need it, it is creating automatically. So when I press yes, it has created button one. This is the name automatically. It is given. If I'm playing with many buttons and all, I will make my own name. Otherwise we can just press yes. And this here you can see, which is written this gray color slash and star. What is written over here? This is just explaining what it is. This is not part of scripting. Scripting starts from the button one. Add even mouse, even click in mouse when I click it. Okay, go to and play frame number. This function should work, etc., etc., etc. But you worry about only this flower bracket start and close between it is written. Go to and play five. See, go to is smaller, A is capital letter, P is capital. You need to follow the same syntax. We don't know how to write it. That's why we use the example. In this bracket, I'm changing this one to two. That's all. Know what will happen when I click, because see, this is a click event. When I click on that button, go to and play frame number two. When I press control enter, now you can see that it's not, it's not going to second frame, but when I click, it go to second frame, but it finished the frame, it go back to the first again. 
it finish it go back to the first again when i click again it's again is playing go back to the first again correct so this is what i have done now when you come back to my timeline you can see three layer i created only two layers i created for the button one and image one i told you for timing if you don't do two layers no problem the actions automatically created this layer in this layer actually the scriptings are there what are the scripting we press with f9 it is here okay that's the reason automatically three layer created so this is the fundamental you should know now we will start to animate on this one see animate means this is on a separate layer now whatever you do it it will work for example here i'm just doing i'm removing this frame now remove the frame on this frame right click and do it classic twin and this classic twin i'm keeping this frame to here so here yeah here top until here i press f6 and the first frame i'm going to keep this one up now here maybe i do so now it's going to come like this right coming after coming it should stop right because it will finish it after this it will go right it should stop so first of all you know here there is extra some frame is there i let me remove it yeah it should stop to stop we already studied what are the command we do stop go we will do any of this area even i can do here also f6 no problem but i feel to prefer here so right click on this frame click on actions and right again stop starting bracket closing bracket semicolon okay now when i press control enter what happened the button gone so i cannot do anything else now why button gone because button is only on this frame you understand button is only on two frames so here i can press f5 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 keep the button till here now when i press control enter again click again i click why this stop because the end of this frame we given stop that's the reason first also stop and also stop first what what will happen when i click my mouse on the button frame number 2 it is going so it will automatically play till here stop here if you want any extra things you can do for example i do f6 i want to a little bit bigger so what happen bigger and smaller a bouncing happen any kind of actions you can do right whenever i click this is working this is the fundamental only we can do multiple frames multiple images can be animate this all will come to next sessions